An enduring classic like The Nanny takes hard work, dedication, and, it turns out, Fran Drescher. Here are all the ways Drescher's reality inspired The Nanny. The theme song from The Nanny spells out the setup and premise of the sitcom in terms both catchy and precise. She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. The Nanny co-creator, producer, and star Fran Drescher didn't have quite the same dramatic introduction to show business. But like the character she played on The Nanny for six years, Drescher hails from Flushing, Queens, born in that neighborhood in 1957, to a mother who, like Fran Fine, helped prepare brides-to-be for their wedding day, working as a bridal consultant. Oh, honey, are you gorgeous? You look just like a virgin. Here, I brought you some crackers for your morning sickness. Writing partner Peter Mark Jacobson and the rest of the creative team that brought The Nanny to life also fleshed out the world of the show with a ton of personal flourishes from Drescher. Fran Fine's trademark is her loud, infectious laugh. That's played up for the sake of character and television, but it is based on the actual boisterous sounds that the real-life Drescher makes when she finds something particularly funny. Similarly, Fran Fine's speaking voice resembles Drescher's off-screen voice, it's just heavily exaggerated. Excuse me, Miss Fran Drescher, but I am your biggest fan. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, you really do talk like that. Who would make this up? <laughs> On top of that, Chester Drescher appeared on 14 episodes across the run of The Nanny. Don't recognize the name? He was Fran Drescher's dog, and he portrayed the pet of Fran Fine's rival, Cece Babcock. When the cameras weren't filming, Chester adored Drescher, but didn't much care for Lane. So the writers made it so Chester, the character, didn't like Cece. As they say, art imitates life. <laughs> Fluffy and a good judge of character. Fran Fine, title character of The Nanny, is obviously named after Fran Drescher, but that's just one of many names from Drescher's real life that she used for characters on her very own sitcom. Drescher and Miss Fine share the same middle name, Joy, and the fictional Nanny's parents were given the same names as Drescher's. Both have a mother named Sylvia and a father named Morty. They've also both got an older sister named Nadine and a grandmother named Yetta. Grandma Yetta! Yeah. <laughs> it's Franny! Who? Franny, your granddaughter. Oh, Franny. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Drescher graduated from Hillcrest High School in Queens, much like Fran Fine, only a few years earlier than her TV counterpart. Oh, wow. Does this bring back memories? Bad memories. And while Miss Fine went to cosmetology school, worked in a bridal shop, and then fell back on her training to sell cosmetics door-to-door, -door, Drescher went to cosmetology school while laying down the foundations of her acting career. Fran Fine of The Nanny was in the right place at the right time, finding herself on the Sheffield's doorstep right when they were desperately in need of a nanny, and she was desperately in need of a steady job. In much the same way, Fran Drescher seized the moment during a time of underemployment to go after something she wanted. In 1991, just after the cancellation of her would-be star-making CBS sitcom Princesses, Drescher didn't have anything to do. So she traded in her frequent flyer miles for a first-class airplane ticket to Europe to go visit her friend and Princesses co-star, Twiggy. While she was waiting for the flight to take off, Drescher noticed then-CBS Entertainment president Jeff Sagansky take his seat in first class. And, well, speaking of real-life inspiration for the show, Here's how it played out, more or less. Hi. Shh, don't say anything, but I just upgraded myself from coach. <laughs> I'm Fran Fine, what's your name? Jeff Sagansky, and this is my daughter Gillian. So, what do you do? I develop shows for CBS. Ooh, ha! <laughs> you know, I'm a nanny, and a lot of people told me that my life would make a great sitcom. A stewardess, how many hours left on this flight? 
In the end, Sagansky agreed to hear a formal pitch from Drescher and Peter Mark Jacobson. And so, as Fran Fine would later charm a powerful man into letting her into his life on a professional basis, so too had Drescher. Drescher's visit to Europe to hang out with her Princesses co-star Twiggy wasn't just the path that led to her encounter with Jeff Sagansky. It also helped inspire the show's premise itself. An in-demand model, as well as an actress, Twiggy was already working on something new by the time Drescher arrived. As such, Twiggy sent her 12-year-old daughter to bop around London with Drescher, who found that her own no-nonsense attitude made a charming foil for the proper young English girl. Unable to stop thinking about that unexpected pairing, Drescher called Jacobson in the middle of the night with what would become the pitch for the nanny. Fully inspired and almost fully formed, it would be a spin on the sound of music music, except instead of a prim and proper Julie Andrews type filling the nanny position, it would be someone like Fran Drescher, a delightful fish out of water in high society. You're a little out of your element here. Oh, don't worry about me. I've been to my share of affairs. My Uncle Jack threw a weekend bar mitzvah with a Star Trek theme that they're still talking about. 